And thank you, of course, for staying with us this morning. Uh, in studio with us, we're going to have a wonderful show, and we do hope that you could stay with us throughout the entire program. And we're going to start our conversation off this morning on a very, very light and proud moment as we speak with Miss Rachel Cattell. And you might be wondering, who is Rachel Cattell? Well, I'll tell you who she is. She is the winner, yes, of the Lorraine Rive uh, Queen show. I mean, it's a, it's a moment of pride here for us in Tobago. And we're going to have that conversation as we congratulate Miss Cattell. Good morning and welcome. Good morning and thank you for having me on the show this morning. Of course. <laughs> and as I mentioned, it is indeed a proud moment for all of us here yes. in Tobago. Uh, if you know the history at all about uh, the Laran Rive title, uh, mm -hmm. it took us 30 years to regain the crown and yes. you did it. Yes. Right. So, so many, many congratulations to you. Thank Talk you. us through the entire <laughs> process and copying that title and bringing it back to Tobago. Sure, no problem. So it's actually 27 years mm -hmm. since we have gained the title. So the last winner would have been in 1997 and the 30-year mark would have been the last Pembroke Queen. Mm. So the closest that we would have been since the 27 years would have been with Darcel Kirk, who placed as first runner-up and now I hold the title. Now, the process was indeed a long one, <laughs> one that I could not have done without a community of people behind me. And uh, I here we are now. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, talking about the community behind you, mm -hmm. how important is it to have that, that community of support? Mm -hmm. Because I know the demands can be so great yes. on, um, for, pr in preparation for anything, sitting yes. an exam, yes. uh, participating <laughs> in an event, a competition, yes. representing yes. your community, your island, your yes. home, your name. Yes. You know, so tell us about that community that stood together with you and how their support gave mm -hmm. you the courage to put your best foot forward and cup the title. So I'll be very honest throughout this competition. I believe I learned the true essence of the of the phrase, it takes a village, because within my community, I had several hands helping me. So I had my writer and director, Khadija Thomas, as well as my speech coach and my choreographer and my director for my self-expression, Mr. Shaquille Jones, and the director and manager of the group of Encore Dance Theatre, which I represented, Mr. Tyrese Montano, who did choreography, my makeup and Tyless and my designer for my gown, Akimo Sandy. My hair was done by Darcel Cook and my illustration for the gown was done by Shanicia Walker. My gown was sewn by Miss Mary Rubley, as well as this piece of ensemble that I am also wearing. And then we had hands that help plait the hair that was sewn onto my head. Leanne Charles, Stephanie James, Cami Smith, John, and then even Kendra Moray. So it, it was a lot of people that contributed towards where I am today. And uh, that's a long, long list. And you know, it's <laughs> yes. so amazing that you can actually remember yes. um, the persons who stood in there with you. And it's very important mm -hmm. to give them their roses and to say thank yes. you and to show appreciation because, I mean, on your own, mm -hmm. you would not be able to do it. It would be too that's much. It would that's definitely be true. too much and too stressful. So now you're preparing for the stage yes. and um, you qualified and you're going to Trinidad to represent the island of Tobago, yes. to represent your community. Yes. Um, what did you take with you in your spirits? Um, mm -hmm. Thinking that, listen, I have to take this back to Tobago. I have mm -hmm. to represent mm -hmm. and put my best foot forward for mm -hmm. where I am from and who I am representing. My passion, my love for the arts, for, for my creativity, for what I do. I am a resident dancer here across in Tobago at the Tobago Performing Arts Company and it's something that I've longed to do for a living you know they always say do what you love you know and I finally have the opportunity to do that and it, I was able to go on that stage and do exactly that you know I did a monologue I also did a spiritual form of dance and I was able to express myself in the self-expression about how much I love where I come from and my Pembroke community as well as my encore dance theater girls and my community in that regard and I feel as though to the best that I could have I wanted to be able to bring that back home, that title. Tobago is such a diverse, a diverse community. And we have such a sanctuary here with people who are so welcoming and so loving. And it feels right and it feels fitting and it feels historic that it is back here in Tobago today. And, you know, I'm um, listening mm -hmm. to you speaking and I could feel mm -hmm. the passion and the pride mm -hmm. uh, that you feel about Tobago and about mm -hmm. your community and where you come from. Yes. And, you know, sometimes some people might have mixed feelings and mixed notions about who we are yes. as a Tobago people. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the things you'd like to, one, dispel and mm -hmm. to, to 
teach people about Tobago if you had mm -hmm. the chance to stand on a stage and say, listen, this is who we are as a people? Mm -hmm. I would say that Tobago comes from their own side of cultural uh, diversity. We express ourselves in such a unique way and we have such an excellence when it comes to welcoming ceremonies, when it comes to dance, when it comes to cultural expression, where drums and music and laveways are concerned. We stand on our own. There's no copying, there's no there's there's no significance where that is concerned because we are our own people. And I feel as though where Tobago is concerned, we stand in in such a diverse in such a diverse way that as Tobagonians, we can say, yes, we are Trinidad and Tobago. However, the culture that we possess, the traditions that we possess, it sometimes varies where Trinidad is concerned. And we are able to then say, we can teach and each one teach one, you know? And I, I appreciate that about our culture. And we have so much to learn still. Tobago is full of so many different things, so many historical sites and so many historical memories and tokens that we still have to share. So that is something that I appreciate about the island. And, and I like that you actually brought that out, that we are mm -hmm. so diverse. And although mm -hmm. we are Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. there is a, a defined difference mm -hmm. between the both of us. Yes. Uh, the two islands, that is. Um, even in the way we speak, Yes, you know, in our <laughs> diction the words that we use our different dialects yes you know um there's a dialect from the east the dialect from mm -hmm. the north yes. you know and the general <laughs> dialect you know is so diverse and i yes. can feel that essence coming from you yes. as you're speaking about um you know the, the difference in the culture here in mm -hmm. tobago mm -hmm. and where where do you see yourself um throughout this year that you're carrying this crown, what mm -hmm. are some of your responsibilities and some of the things that you'd want to ensure mm -hmm. happens while you are wearing this crown? Well, in terms of responsibilities, it's completely up to me. And I feel as though there are numerous amounts of projects that I want to start putting forward. And one would, would begin with the Big Sister Little Sister program. I am very passionate when it comes to the younger generation. And I believe that they are the future and to mold them and shape them in our essence, our cultural essence, is very vital, it's very important. And something, starting a project like that would be perfect in terms of allowing our creatives here on the island to start to build and give back to communities. And I also would like the opportunity to go into communities and begin to speak to persons. A, a major issue that I realize that we have is that our traditions and our culture is not documented and that's something that I would also like to put forward as a project in terms of carrying our Tobago essence beyond just Trinidad and Tobago so regionally and internationally something like the gown that was designed by Akimo Sandy and the intricacy of all of the natural material that was placed on it by Darcel Cook those things that is something that would be profound to carry across internationally and allow tourists to witness the talent that we have coming out of Tobago and that is absolutely Absolutely amazing that you mentioned these things because these are things we take for granted. She's yes. wearing a gown. It's so beautiful. Yes. And it ends there. Yes. And that gown itself has a story that yes, can be does. told about it. Um, and you mentioned, you know, um, that project where you want to go into communities and ensure mm -hmm. that young persons have the opportunity. Do you see right now, as it were, do you mm -hmm. see any the opportunities for them to come forward to join groups to be taught to be educated about yes. our culture and preserving the culture yes of course and i believe that the knowledge bearers the elders within the community they make that possible here in tobago i have learned so so much from persons coming out of those communities and not just the knowledge bearers and the elders within the community but young persons who are my age as well who have grown up within the culture the arts and the entertainment sector they are well <laughs> profound with knowledge as well and they are able to teach the communities out there and I believe through camps through an exhaust of of our materials that we can use to bring them into wherever we may be into a space but to create a space for them where we can teach them and they can learn about our history it, it is something that is more than we are uh, more than capable of doing so would you say that after um your your reign mm -hmm. you would continue of course in this passion yes. to ensure yes. that the culture is, is yes i would because before even winning the crown before even going up for miss laren v as a title it is something that i have i have been pursuing you know i was miss uweverse 2017 and i did continue my projects my cultural projects outside of being miss uweverse and here being a resident dancer I take my community very serious and within my encore dance theater I believe the girls are now they are now able to say 
it's not just a pageant. It's something that I think I see myself doing because of how much pride we represent our country with. You know, the, uh, the Tobagonians came out in full mass and full force for the finals to support in not just the La Grande Affair, but also for talent and self-expression at SAPA. And even persons who were not Tobagonian, I, they found themselves supporting Tobago because of how rich of our cult, of cultural heritage we started to exuberate. So it's something that we can continue and I intend to continue. And you know, I'm listening to, to your build up there and I'm mm -hmm. thinking, you know, sometimes for pageants, mm -hmm. um, it might be, oh, you t I think you could go up for a queen show. You know, <laughs> yeah. they call it a queen show. I think you could go, you want to go. And so we just pick somebody at random yes. and they go. But for you, there is mm -hmm. a story and a mm -hmm. history and a reason yes. um, why you chose to do this. And I, mm -hmm. I want you to talk us through this uh, primarily for the younger persons coming yeah. up because they are the ones who would have to carry the mantle forward yes. to the next generation. So I want you to talk them through the importance and significance of making a decision like this yes. and the possible outcomes. Because now, if you say, okay, I'm going to for a queen show yeah. you're going because you want to win right <laughs> yeah. not just because they need 15 people and i'll be number 15 yes right um so t talk us through the process in mm -hmm. deciding you want to go mm -hmm. considering the responsibilities that would mm -hmm. come after you wear the crown i would firstly say there's an importance to have a drive and determination because that is something that i possess even before being asked to go up to represent the group the group is a young group on core dance theater and they have been around of uh, since they began inception from last year january and even the managing director, Mr. Tyrese Montano, he's a young person as well. And he saw it fit. He wanted his group to be able to hold, not just hold a title, but to continue to encourage young persons within the island and beyond just the island, nationally, to be able to represent well. And it then encouraged me as well, because he takes his form and his craft seriously, to say, you know, this is something that I, I can see myself doing. It was my first year seeing Best Village in full force and my first year participating in Best Village at its first force, its full force. And it's something that I took very seriously. And in saying, okay, no problem, I will do this, I will do this Miss Lara Nouvet competition then persons began to come on board. And as they came on board, they realized, okay, so these people are taking their craft as seriously as they said that they would. And we are putting our best foot forward, no problem. And the whole group took the entirety of that and they went full force with it. And I appreciate how all the girls who were part of Encore Dance Theatre was also included because they decided to dance in terms of the production for the gown. They danced. <laughs> they were they were playing my dead bodies on stage as well for my talent piece because I did a piece on addressing the Minister of National Security. So in rehearsals, they were always present and they were always encouraging. So this is something that I would say, if it is that it's something that you see yourself doing, just continue to stick with your communities, continue to see yourself being the best that you can be and continue to push yourself forward. That's right. And you're talking mm -hmm. there and there's a lot of education that comes from it, the process mm -hmm. itself. Yes. Because now you have to go and do research, especially talking about your talent. Yes. You have to know what's happening yes. in the space. You have to be <laughs> informed. Yes. You have to follow the news. It's mm -hmm. not just... A queen, as I said, not it's just a not queen, it's not just a pageant. That's it is right. something where you gain experience, knowledge, information, and you yes. can have a voice. Yes. You can have a voice. And, you know, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I really do hope that the younger community will come together. I do hope that Tobago, yes. uh, you will, you know, come together and do the things because culture is something I believe can draw people yes. in our space for them to mm -hmm. see who we really are. Yes. And of course, we are the ones to shape the narrative. Yes. And I really do hope that communities come together mm -hmm. and, you know, ensure that culture remains an icon here on the island of yes. Tobago, you know, as it were. Yeah. Um, what's next? <laughs> what's next for Rachel Cattell? What's next is we're hoping to go into communities. Well, first of all, I would like to thank Pembroke for all of its support all of its generosity so that's the first place that i'm heading to pembroke and beyond just pembroke i would like to thank all the persons that i saw on the live you know sharing and commenting and saying we support you we're sending love from tobago keep doing what you're doing best and beyond that as well you know encore dance theater did represent tobago on the stage for miss larry Vey, but we had other groups that came out and supported we had the delicious dance agency we had rhythmic vibrations the rhythmic babes who I teach with and we also had you know Zante's unique touch so I want to say thank you so much you know and I appreciate all of you and all of the love and support that you continue to give. I just want to read some of the things that
things that our viewers are saying on the live for you, you know. Um, Shaquille Jones. <laughs> Somebody say ambassadorial work. <laughs> because you have vision, you have foresight. Yes. Um, somebody's watching from, this is Shari, Shairoon Ali watching from Florida. Good morning and thank you so Good much morning. for viewing. She's so brilliant. Congratulations. This is from June Pats. Very so well much. articulated and excellent interview. This woman needs to be the face and the voice of Tobago's <laughs> cultural exchanges. And oh. I feel the same. I express the exact sentiments to you. <laughs> um, you're doing an excellent job. The, what I love about this conversation with you is your passion. I love the fact that you are genuine and sincere and that you yes. actually want to make that measure of impact. Yes. So I will take the opportunity as a representative of the Tobago Updates television family <laughs> to give you all the encouragement and the yes. support that you need. Thank Go you. into those communities, as yes. you said, speak to those young people, yes. find the groups yes. um, who are interested. And if they're not interested, make them interested. <laughs> yes. You know, I believe you can do it. And I yes. believe that that village these people who are on the live here, this is your village. They're coming yes. forward yes. and the support will be there. And we will see the impact of um, the, 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 the significance of culture improving yes. Yes. here on the island of Tobago as we call it our own. The inclusion yes. is important. Yes, it is. And Rachel, I see you doing great things. <laughs> many, you. many congratulations. You have made <laughs> us so proud. <laughs> and I am honored to be having this conversation with you this morning. Thank and you. I look forward to greater things where you are concerned. Thank you so Give much. Give some love to our viewers this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> So much to all the viewers to all the support that you've been sharing on the live and beyond the live i truly and genuinely appreciate you thank you so much <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen we've been speaking with rachel cattell mm -hmm. she is our Lorraine rive queen and she has so many plans not just for the year where she's wearing that crown but of course beyond and she came into it with a vision and a passion and so we put all the support behind her as she um, embarks on the projects that she so desires to do so let's band with her Tobago. It takes a village. And of course, the village is coming strong behind her to ensure that culture in Tobago, in all our communities, stand mm -hmm. on their own here, right here in Tobago, in Trinidad, regionally and on international stages as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to go for a short break before we continue conversations in studio. And of course, as we go, we invite you to remain with us as we continue to have the conversations uh, about things happening in and around Tobago. We'll be right back. Sun start to rise, the energy fill the skies. I say thanks for favor to wake up and 